Hey guys, what is up? It's Bricks Only here today, and today we're taking a look at a product that is not actually Lego. <laughs> now, um, I f it's called um, Block Tech Building Tape, and I thought it was kind of interesting, so I figured that I'd pick some up because I saw it at the Dollar Store, or the Dollar Tree, or the Dollarama, one of them anyways, and I thought, hmm, this tape might actually work and it might be useful. I wasn't going to buy any of the bricks just because I have no use for them, but I thought this um, block tape might be good, and I had an idea on what to use it for for this city. So I bought two packs just to be safe. Now uh, let's open them up. Now, as you can see, they're in just a plastic um, like uh, wrapping, I guess, and it says that there's 15 inches long of this, and I'm just going to trust them. I'm not actually going to measure it. But, um, yeah, just opening that up, you can see um, I did buy the blue tape. That was all they had there. Otherwise, I might have gotten something different, but, um, yeah, so I'm just going to start these off with a maximum of 10 points, and then I'm just going to take away as I go. Um, so far, it looks pretty good. I was just kind of worried about those little bubbles and if it was going to stick there, but I think it was pretty good. It's pretty flexible, which I am happy about, um, for sure, and as you can see, a minifigure can stand on it, but it is a really loose fit, so I would take away a point for that just because of how loose it is, and if you want to be building on, like, the wall or something, it could come off, and that is definitely not something that I want. I know there are definitely more expensive uh, building blocks or building tape out there, um, but I got this for $1.25, so, I mean, for $1.25, it's pretty good, but, um, you know, it's just it's just not the best quality for sure. Um, but, yes, I did take away a mark for um, that loose um, fit. So now I'm here in the Lego City, and I do have an idea of where I want this to go. I do have the building tape with me, and um, what my idea is to basically just have a brick separator on this and just stuck to the side of the table so I can just be building and then grab one for emergency so it'll kind of uh, just be like that. Um, I'm just going to count out here, and I do need about 10 studs worth of it, and I am taking away another mark for that um, end just because it looks really deformed, and I can't use that, so I'm just going to... Take away another mark for that. So now we are at 8 out of 10, which is still pretty good for a really cheap product like this. But I'm sorry, I am a little bit off frame. I was trying to do this with precision, I guess you could say. And I mean, the brick separator does um, connect pretty good. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so I need to just about 10 studs worth of space. But um, first things first, I am going to cut off that end just because of how terrible it is. Um, that is, that's just unusable. I mean, you could probably use it, but it just looks really bad. So I'm just going to cut it off. Uh, and as you can see, it does cut easily with um, scissors, so I'm pretty happy about that. I was kind of worried about that. But, um, yeah, so now I'm just going to cut these up into strips of uh, 10 studs um, long, I guess, and because uh, that is enough to um, connect a brick separator to. And, um, yeah, so here is our little strip, and then there is this backing that just peels off like that. Um, as you can see, there is a little bubble in the tape as well, but uh, it should be good. It It doesn't really matter, I don't think. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of center this um, with the bin. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's just hope that it stays up. Um, I am voice recording this the next day, and so far it has stayed up. So, I'm, <laughs> I mean, for dollar store quality, that's that's pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I have it just up there. Not quite level, but I don't really care because a brick separator is going to be on there most of the time. Like so. So now I can just have my little emergency stash of brick separators so I can grab one whenever I need. And I will have them at different um, different points throughout the entire table. Um, probably within all those gaps in between the shelves. But um, yeah, just so I can uh, grab a brick separator, brick separator whenever I need. So as of this point, I've just finished putting up the last of the brick separators. And this one was uh, pretty crooked. But, I mean, the brick separator stays on, and that's all that matters. As you can see, I did include, um, like, just four in total um, throughout the entire city. And I have tons and tons and tons of extra tape. In fact, I have an entire roll left, plus a bit of the other one. And I didn't know how much I was going to need, but as you can see, the brick separator is now a loose fit, which is okay because I just want to be able to grab this easily, so I guess it works for what I want. But again, if you were to be building on a wall or on, a, like, a roof or something, it would not work. Not a roof, a ceiling, my bad. But yeah, that, that's a lot of extra tape that I have. I'll have to think of something else that I want to use that for. If you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comment below. Um, I almost wanted to um, have like a little sticker beside the brick separator or something like that that says, in case of emergency or something like that, because, you know, brick separators are a lifesaver for any LEGO fan. 
But um, yeah, so I did include um, four in total throughout the entire city, um, just so I can basically grab one wherever I'm working at and um, use it from there. So I think that is really it for this video. Um, let me know what you guys think of this product and if you would be willing to buy it for only $1.25 Canadian. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and for watching this experiment. Um, sorry about not a mock video. I do have parts coming in the mail. They should be here sometime this week if Lego is going to be on time. Who knows? But um, that will definitely allow me to make a lot more mocks. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.